streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. It's Monday, May 20th, 2024. Checking in now with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl. A rainy Monday morning out there, Bill. Indeed, uh, we've had scattered showers, a few thunderstorms overnight and into early this morning. We'll check that radar in just a moment. First of all, quick check of the numbers from yesterday showing highs uh, generally in the low to mid 70s, so cooler than the uh, High 80s we saw on Saturday, but uh, more seasonable as our average high is right about 74 degrees. And that was what we hit yesterday in the cross 71 in Eau Claire and 77 in Prairie du Chien. Again, wet streets, parking lots and sidewalks this morning due to the rain overnight. 74 and 52, the numbers from yesterday. And uh, check it out. That's pretty much right on average. 74 and 52. I've included the rainfall through uh, the top of the hour. 0.16 inches is all that's fallen so far out of the La Crosse Airport. Uh, records for today stand at 94 and 32. Uh, checking that radar, you can see showers and thunderstorms lifting kind of east-northeast across the region. Another little batch of storms will impact southern portions of the viewing area with lighter rain up towards the La Crosse area. Current temperatures in the mid-50s to lower 60s, so it's a mild morning, and we will see highs right around 75 with scattered showers and thunderstorms primarily this morning. Uh, this afternoon's looking primarily dry, again, with that high of 75. Some strong to severe storms potentially tomorrow afternoon and evening. More on that coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, we will see you in just a bit. Thank you. Breaking overnight, Iran's president was killed in a helicopter crash. The country's foreign ministers and several others were also killed. Naomi Ruckham brings us reaction and what it means for an already tumultuous time in the Middle East. In the foggy mountains of northwestern Iran, rescue crews have found the body of Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi after his helicopter crashed near the Azerbaijan border. The aircraft was part of a convoy of three helicopters when it made what officials describe as a hard landing, also killing the nation's foreign minister. This video shows the leaders on board, where they had been visiting a dam project earlier in the day. State media broadcast Iranians praying for Raisi while waiting for news from the crash site. But by many accounts, he was an extremely divisive president, elected in the lowest turnout in the country's history. Raisi was also known as a conservative hardliner who oversaw a violent crackdown on dissent. I think President Raisi has more blood on his hands than any other official of the Islamic Republic. The implications of the crash reach far beyond Iran's borders, as the Middle East sits on the verge of catastrophe amid the war between Israel and Hamas. Just last month, under Raisi's leadership, Iran launched an unprecedented drone and missile attack on Israel. Raisi was also quite close to Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei, who is now 85 years old, and many viewed Raisi as a possible successor. Under the Iranian constitution, Iran's vice president will now take over, with a new election expected within the next 50 days. Happening now, officials are in the process of refloating the cargo ship that hit Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. Recent demolition work gave the Dolly cargo ship a path to freedom, but freeing the ship doesn't mean freeing its crew members. Current regulations have kept them stuck on board because a ship like the Dolly must have a crew on it at all times. Now the workers' visas have expired, and a union representative says they're waiting for officials to tell them when they can go home. The union also says the FBI confiscated crew members' cell phones last month. We'll continue to monitor this and provide you with updates. Also new this morning, if you take State Road to get to work or school, you may want to give yourself an extra few minutes this morning. According to the City of La Crosse, part of westbound State Road, well, just off of Losey Boulevard, will be closed starting today as crews repair stormwater infrastructure outside the westbound lane. The city has not provided a detour route and does not have a time frame on when the road will reopen. Trumpelo County officers are now investigating a suspicious death as a homicide. The death happened on May 15th near Highway 53 and County Road TT in Ettrick. There is not believed to be a danger to the public at this time. The Trumpelo County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone with information to reach out to them at the number on your screen.
A Buffalo County home was destroyed in a weekend fire. According to the Buffalo County Sheriff's Office, it happened on Brandhorst Road in the town of Buffalo. The family that lived there was not home at the time of the fire, but their three cats and dog died in the blaze. The home is considered a total loss. Officials have not yet released a cause. Bishop Callahan made his final mass as the Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse yesterday. The service was a Pentecost mass held at St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral. Pentecost is the celebration of the church's beginning and birth date. Callahan's retirement was announced in March after receiving approval from Pope Francis. He served as the Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse for 14 years after being appointed in 2010 by Pope Benedict. Bishop Battersby will be installed as Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse later today. Day. And speaking of that, the diocese is welcoming a new member to its family. Evening prayer was held at St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral to welcome Bishop Battersby at his first official function, symbolizing a warm and faithful reception. Typically, the incoming bishop knocks on the cathedral door with a wooden hammer requesting permission to enter, but things looked a bit different yesterday. One member of the Diocese of La Crosse said they are entrusted with the care of their shepherd, the bishop. Uh, so as Bishop Callahan retires, uh, we welcome Bishop Battersby to come in and so he continues to spiritually lead and guide the faithful of the Diocese of La Crosse. The prayer concluded with a heartfelt send-off and preparations for today's installation. The Diocese of La Crosse encompasses 19 counties in central and west central Wisconsin. Big Bikes for Little Tykes is raising money for a brave six-year-old from Onalaska. At her one-year-old checkup, Cara MacArthur was diagnosed with tumors on her optic nerves, causing her to become legally blind. And for the last five years, she's spent more time in hospitals than she has at home. So Big Bikes for Little Tykes and 95.7 The Rock held an event where bikers traveled 127 miles to raise money for Cara so her, her and her family can go on vacation. Um, but I really love that not only does the family get the wish that they wanted, but they get this day of support. You know your close family and friends love you and have your back, but to find out that people in the community that you don't know, total strangers, would also have your back is super uplifting. Money raised will go toward Cara's dream to see the ocean while she still has some vision left. The family's wish is to have a family vacation where she can enjoy being a kid, building sandcastles, collecting seashells, and dipping her toes in the water. The time now is 5.07. Still to come on your morning news. Mercedes-Benz employees in Alabama vote not to join the United Auto Workers Union. Census numbers show cities growing again after shrinking during the pandemic. And the top airline in the world giving its staff an eye-popping bonus. We'll share those details with you coming up in your consumer news. Breaking down music barriers. I'm Donya Backus with a look at a program aiming to connect students to all aspects of the music industry. And for now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. A team of international astronomers have discovered a giant planet that is as light as cotton candy. The planet is known as WASP-193b. The researchers say it's about 50% bigger than Jupiter, but only 10th as dense. The scientists believe it's made up of mostly hydrogen and helium rather than solids. That's why they say the planet is super fluffy, and they're comparing it to the confectionery treat. The exoplanet is located about 1,200 light years from Earth and is the second lightest planet ever found. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news is after the break. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as seven days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. It all starts with a Chevy truck. Chevy Silverado with the Turbo Max engine and best in class standard torque. And Chevy Silverado HD with up to 14 available camera views. Do more in a Chevy truck. Get yours now. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Or get 57.50 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Visit hometownchevy.com. Okay guys, we're all here because US Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now you can get unlimited data for just $30 a line. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. 
Or at least help me clip. You check expiration dates. Oh, I can do that. Great. Four free phones plus unlimited data for just $30 a line. No trade-in needed. Spruce up your lawn with help from an arts. Plus, get an 11% rebate on everything. Find everything from lawn bags to fertilizer, gardening tools, and more. Works Outdoor Power Tools have everything you need to maintain your yard. They're perfect to get the job done quick and easy. Right now, this Works 20-volt cordless string trimmer edger and leaf blower combo kit is just $109.99 after 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You didn't live this strong, this long, to get put on the shelf like a porcelain doll. If you have postmenopausal osteoporosis and are at high risk for fracture, you can build new bone with Avenity. Ask your doctor if you can do more than just slowing down bone loss with Avenity. Want stronger bones? Then build new bone. Ivenity can help in just 12 months. Ivenity is proven to reduce spine fracture risk by 73%. Ivenity can increase risk of heart attack, stroke, or death from a cardiovascular problem. Do not take Ivenity if you have low blood calcium or are allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions and low blood calcium have occurred. Tell your doctor about jawbone problems as they have been reported with Ivenity or about pain in your hip, groin, or thigh, as unusual thigh bone fractures have occurred. Don't let a break put you on a shelf. Talk to your doctor about building new bone with Avenity. The buildings that are left are destroyed beyond belief. It looks like they've burned. We know Forty years ago, Barneveld was struck with a deadly F5 tornado. Wednesday at 10, how the town bounced back, plus survivors recall that fateful day. Hey, welcome back and a good Monday morning to you. Uh, taking a look at the school cast for today. By the way, it is 511. We've got scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning. Those should taper though later this morning and I'm expecting mainly dry conditions this afternoon. 61 at 7 a.m. 67 by lunchtime afternoon highs uh, in the middle 70s in most spots right around 75 in the cross. So dog walking forecast. I think Reggie looked out the window this morning, saw the rain and the wet streets and sidewalks and was like, you know what? I'll just go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could do that too, right? Uh, hoping to walk with Maurice though, and maybe this afternoon or evening because it's looking uh, mainly dry uh, during those time periods. But again, those scattered showers and thunderstorms this morning. Uh, here is a look through City Cam at the wet conditions this morning. We've had periodic showers and thunderstorms uh, overnight in many areas, especially from La Crosse and Point Southward. Now, those scattered showers and thunderstorms today, again, primarily this morning. Chance for some hit and miss scattered storms tonight and perhaps into Tuesday morning. Morning, and then a good chance of storms tomorrow afternoon and evening, and that's when some could be strong to severe, and that's why Tuesday will be an alert day. I want you to stay extra weather aware, especially Tuesday afternoon and evening. Now this morning, uh, again, those scattered showers and thunderstorms continue to lift to the east-northeast across the region. Kind of two uh, separate batches of heavier rain, uh, one over uh, far eastern sections of Unary now moving into central Wisconsin. Another batch moving out of northeastern Iowa, starting to impact portions of uh, Winnesheek, Allamakee, and Crawford counties up into Richland County, and then just uh, light to moderate rain scattered about for the rest of us. Current temperatures in the mid 50s to lower 60s, and we will see highs today uh, right around 75 degrees. Again, that chance of uh, scattered showers and storms primarily this morning. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast that's coming up in just a few minutes. In your consumer news this morning, Mercedes-Benz employees in Alabama voted not to join the United Auto Workers Union. Friday's final results showed 56% of workers voted against forming a union. The assembly plant employs about 6,000 people, and pro-union workers say they may seek another vote in the future. Alabama's Governor Kay Ivey issued a statement following the vote, urging the UAW to respect the decision of those workers. New data from the U.S. Census Bureau reveals population trends after the pandemic. Experts who analyze the numbers say populations of many big cities rebounded from July 2022 to July 2023. In the Northeast and Midwest, on average, cities of 50,000 people or more showed growth, reversing declines in 2022. Population growth was highest in the South, where cities grew an average of 1%, compared with 0.2% or less in the rest of the country.
And Singapore Airlines is setting the bar high when it comes to bonus payouts. The carrier will reward its employees with a bonus worth nearly eight months of salary, according to a report. This comes after the company reported record annual profits last week of close to $2 billion. Singapore Airlines was named the world's best airline last year by Skytrax World Airline Awards. The music industry is making progress when it comes to diversity of artists and those behind the scenes, but one organization believes there's still work to be done. CBS's Donya Bacchus shows us how the Music Forward Foundation aims to empower a new generation of music leaders while celebrating the diversity of their voices and viewpoints. Inside the historic Hollywood Palladium Theater is the future of the music industry. I'm really inspired by this. 16-year-old Alberto Aguilar plans to be a professional musician. I'm doing indie music, alternative, meditation, cinematic. I really love the cinematic stuff. He's one of 1,200 students from Southern California high schools and West Coast colleges who have been given the chance to sing, make beats, and follow their dream of a career in music and live entertainment. We want to make sure that young people know that this vibrant, multi-billion dollar industry is available and accessible to them. Nareet Smith is the executive director of the Music Forward Foundation. The National Foundation aims to create equity in the industry by breaking down gender, economic, and race barriers. It's All Access Fest connects passions to profession. We're here to show them that you can continue to build that artistry and understand marketing and branding and creation and distribution. This event is to make sure students not only learn about all aspects of the music industry, but to also connect them to mentors who can guide them. We want them to engage to spark that learning, to see themselves reflected in that expert. Talk to different people, pick different people's brains and just come out with just a, a whole new understanding. An understanding that the possibilities are endless for the next generation of music industry leaders, innovators and artists. Music Forward has other national programs, including artist and career development, internships, and scholarships. That's it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 517. Let's check back in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at our forecast. Good morning, Bill. Well, good morning, Alexandra. Boy, it's been a warm stretch across the region this month of May, especially uh, over the last uh, week plus. We've had 10 days in a row now with an above average high temperature, although that 74 yesterday was just barely above average. But boy, Saturday we flirted with 90 degrees with that high of 89. So 16 of the 19 days this month of May have been above average for those high temperatures. Now currently uh, skies are cloudy. We've got some scattered showers and thunderstorms, rain falling out of the La Crosse Airport, 61 degrees uh, there, also 61 downtown. Winds out of the northeast at 6 and the Mississippi is falling 8.09 feet. Currently some lighter rain up in Eau Claire, 56 degrees, your wind out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour. So temperatures this morning uh, generally in the 50s to lower 60s, so pretty mild start, 56 in Eau Claire, Black River Falls, 59 in Winona, 61 in La Crosse, and 60 in Prairie du Chien. Some uh, issues with the automated sensors in Sparta, Volkfield, and Viroqua, in case you're wondering why there's no data coming from those uh, locations. Otherwise, winds uh, kind of variable around the showers and thunderstorms, but generally from the south and southeast around 5 to 15, some higher gusts near some of these batches of showers and thunderstorms. You can kind of see two uh, main batches of storms, one uh, lifting into central parts of the state, uh, central Wisconsin, and then also uh, back into northeastern Iowa, another little batch of uh, showers and thunderstorms. And uh, these storms will continue to shift to the north and east as we head towards lunchtime. So sky trackers showing those showers and storms uh, mainly moving out of the area by early afternoon with mainly dry conditions this afternoon into early this evening. And then overnight tonight, we could see some additional kind of scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then into Tuesday morning, uh, we could see some dry time, but then later Tuesday afternoon and into Tuesday evening, a couple batches of uh, not only showers and thunderstorms, but some potentially strong to severe storms uh, rotating through the area as a strong area of low pressure. You can see that counterclockwise spin up near the Twin Cities uh, rotates across the region. And then most of the precip gets out of here for Wednesday, but it's gonna be rather breezy uh, behind this system. So tomorrow's an alert day and here's why we've got uh, a level three risk 
uh, for uh, most of the area across the region. And again, the local timing for this looks to be from about 2 to 9 p.m. Strong winds, large hail, even a few tornadoes possible. So I definitely want you to stay extra weather aware tomorrow afternoon and evening. Also, we could see some locally heavy rainfalls. I run rain tracker through early Wednesday morning, anywhere from 1 to 2, even 3 inches plus of rainfall potentially uh, with these rounds of showers and thunderstorms. Zone forecast showing high temperatures today, generally in the lower to middle 70s. Uh, most spots seeing highs between about 7 and 76 degrees, including about 75 in the La Crosse area, also 75 in Chippewa Falls and Eau Claire. So my forecast for today, scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly this morning, 75 for the high. A mild tonight chance of scattered showers and storms, lows around 61. And then Tuesday, that alert day with a chance of strong to severe storms, Tuesday afternoon and evening, 78. Breezy but dry Wednesday, 72. Mostly sunny Thursday, 79. Chance for some scattered showers and storms Friday and Saturday, High 75 on Friday, 70 on Saturday. Sunday's looking mainly dry with a small chance for a shower uh, next Monday. Highs around 74. So uh, again, I uh, want to remind you to definitely stay weather aware tomorrow afternoon and evening. Alexandra. All right, Bill, thank you. The time now is 521. Still ahead on your morning news. Some health experts are warning of the impacts the new viral trend mewing can have on your teens. Coming up after your morning sports splits, we'll take a look at what mewing is and how it could affect your child's facial growth. Coming up in sports, the UWL Eagles fighting for a spot in the NCAA Super Regionals. And we've got Game 7 in the NBA playoffs as the Timberwolves Look to steal the series on the road. All that coming up in the Morning Blitz. Here's the choice. Eric Hovde, fourth generation Wisconsinite, self-made businessman, job creator, and Eric's foundation provides homes that save thousands of children in need. Career politician Tammy Baldwin, 38 years in politics, voted with Biden 95% of the time. Her votes caused prices to soar, and she refused to secure our border. Career politician Tammy Baldwin, she's not working for us anymore. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get $3,500 purchase cash on select GMC Sierra models. Or get a total of $6,000 purchase allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. NextGuard Combo is the only monthly topical that protects against fleas, ticks, tapeworms, and more. Used with caution in cats with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. NextGuard Combo. The monthly one and done you want. From sunup to sundown, Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning has been servicing the Cooley region for 59 years. Whether you're in La Crosse, La Crescent, Onalaska, West Salem, or Holman, take comfort that our trusted staff solves all your heating and cooling problems with 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Be ready for the summer heat. Call Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning for your AC clean and check today. Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, your local train dealer. It's hard to stop a train. Life's better when you're under our roof. The policy's updated. Because we know your house is where their dreams begin. <gasps> Impressive. Thanks, Kayla. And our agents are here no! to help you feel protected so your family can pursue their dreams. Hey! Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. So get your summer started off right with amazing Memorial Day savings throughout the store. Like these 50-foot woods extension cords, just $12.99. This new charbroil gas grill, only $189.99. Assorted milk bone, canine carryouts, and pepperoni dog treats as low as $4.99. And rewards members get free same-day local delivery on all pet supply orders of $49 or more. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet really painful feet. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Um, it's hard to put in words how gratifying it is to have that kind of pain gone. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, your choice for quality, affordable windows installed by our experienced team. 
Contact us or stop into our showroom today for your free estimate. For the morning blitz, what a sports day we had yesterday. Starting with the NCAA Division III Regional Final, UWL entered the day needing to win back-to-back -back games for Co-College wins one. Let's go to Copeland Park. The UWL offense entered yesterday averaging 16 runs a game during the regional, and it wouldn't take them long to score in this one. First inning, Anthony Vivian chopper to third, but the throw goes high. A run comes in to score, and UWL takes the lead. The offense has been the story, but the defense making plays today. Tossed a second for one over to first in time for the 6-4-3 double play. Third inning now when the bats start to heat up. Vivian at the plate again this time. Sends one to the gap in right field. That brings in a run. UWL adds to their lead. Still in the third. Bases loaded for George Seaman, and he lines one into right field. Two runs come in to score. It's part of a seven-run inning as UWL goes on to win 18 to 11, and that forces a winner-take-all game two. Same teams, nine more innings, winner to the Super Regionals. Coe would strike first, but it wouldn't take long for the Eagles to answer with a man on. George Seaman back up the middle. Vanden Heuvel comes in to score. UWL down one. Next batter. And the home run party continues. Anthony Vivian, his fifth of the weekend, and this one wasn't even close. UWL takes a 3-2 lead. Later in the game, Cohawks threatening, but Isaiah Katz, a big strikeout to end the inning. UWL stays in front. And then in the seventh, the Eagles going to get some big-time insurance. Two men on and Seaman. Sends one over the right field wall, and it's gone. A three-run shot, part of a four-run seventh inning, and that was the difference maker. Eagles get the win 9-7, to seven, and they're moving on to the Super Regionals for a second straight year. They'll face a familiar foe as UWL will travel to Whitewater for Super Regionals next weekend. Two of the best words in all of sports, Game 7. Timberwolves versus the Nuggets. I won't waste any time. Nuggets were up 15 at the half. The teams are teams were up 21 and 0 all time. Went up 15 in Game Seven. But enter the Minnesota Timberwolves. Minnesota actually trailed by 20 at one point. Here they are in the third quarter. Carl Anthony Towns driving to the bucket gets it to fall. Wolves pull within six. <laughs> Under 40 to play. And gets the steal going the other way. Edwards. Throws it down. It's now a two-point game. Fourth quarter, Minnesota up two. Go Bear, fade away at the buzzer. Are you kidding me? The Minnesota bench can't believe it. Three and a half to play. Edwards, step back three. No, that's off, but Nas Reed. The putback slam. It's a nine-point Wolves lead. Nuggets in need of a bucket, but Conley gets the steal. Passes inside. Back out to Edwards in the corner. Dagger. Timberwolves with the largest comeback in Game 7 history. Take down the defending champions 98 to 90, and now they'll face Dallas in the conference finals later this week. That'll do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. I would like to tell you about the man I love, Eric, who is running for the U.S. Senate. A fourth-generation Wisconsinite, he started his first business in his 20s and then built and turned around over a dozen companies, creating thousands of good-paying jobs. He believes in the American dream, and he wants it to be possible for everyone. Above all, Eric is a man of integrity. These are the qualities I want in a U.S. Senator to fight for Wisconsin. How about you? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. It's Ford SUV season. Time to get out there and take on adventure in a whole new way. Start with great offers on Ford Escape, Explorer, Mustang Mach-E, and Expedition. And experience Ford Blue Cruise hands-free highway driving. Available on select vehicles. It's Ford SUV season. Let's get going. Now get your favorite Ford SUV with financing as low as 1.9% for 66 months. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers.
Transform your home in one weekend and get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Menards offers a great selection of Cabot stains to bring your wood projects to life. Cabot Australian Timber Oil is perfect for decks, railings, siding, and outdoor furniture. It enriches the color and wood grain while providing maximum penetration, durability, and water repellency. Get a gallon today for $49.98, plus get an 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. When you need new paving or need repairs to cracked or damaged pavement, call Patriot Paving. Asphalt and concrete take a beating in Wisconsin weather. Patriot Paving uses the best materials and appropriate thickness to hold up. For driveways, parking lots, and cart paths, our team gets the job done right. Call Patriot Paving for new paving, asphalt repairs, seal coating, crack filling, or chip and seal. We work quickly and efficiently. Call Patriot Paving today for an asphalt assessment and quote for your property. Are you tired of your hair breaking after waiting years for it to grow? Meet new Pantene Pro V Miracles with our highest concentration of pro vitamins yet, infused with ingredients like biotin and collagen. Strengthens hair bonds and repairs as well as a leading luxury brand without the $60 price tag. For stronger, healthier hair. If you know, you know it's Pantene. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Expect more from News 8 Now. Thanks for watching. In your morning medical news, a new viral trend is making the rounds on social media and some experts are concerned about its impact on teens. It's called mewing and it signals to others you're trying to sculpt your jaw by pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth. The trend is also the subject of several online forums with many of them aimed toward young men and boys, but it's the desire some teens have to change their still growing faces that's raising alarm bells for experts. A specialist who works with eating disorder patients says that behavior can indicate an unhealthy preoccupation with body image. I would say the biggest surprise is how consumed they are by it. Especially in something like mewing, where the intent, the effort, is to physically change some aspect of your body. If I see a group of students at a table and nobody on their phone, I'll run around and hand them out cookies. It's sad that it's so, un that it's so uncommon, but when you see it, it's really energizing. An advisory released by the Surgeon General last year shows 46% of teens report feeling worse about their body image after scrolling social media. Summer is coming and with it potentially cancer causing sun exposure. According to the American Cancer Society, skin cancer is by far the most common form of cancer in the United States. Reducing UV exposure is crucial, so stay in the shade when you can, wear a hat to protect your face and head. And make sure to wear clothing that covers your arms and legs. Also, regularly use broad spectrum sunscreen with a sun protection factor of at least 30. And if you see any concerning new skin changes, contact your physician right away. During this Mental Health Awareness Month, advocates are putting the spotlight on firefighters who endure a lot of trauma but don't always address the resulting mental health issues. Stephanie Stahl shows us how the Philadelphia Fire Department is trying to change that. We're supposed to be tough. Philly firefighter Bill Dissinger says 16 years of being on the front lines became overwhelming. We're supposed to be the ones that are helping everybody else, but then when it comes to help ourselves, we don't even know where to begin. Most firefighters will admit they know how to save lives and fight flames, but they often struggle with their own mental health. My drinking had gotten out of control because of the trauma, and my marriage was a mess because on the inside I was dying because I didn't talk about anything. The International Association of Firefighters says 92% of firefighters say stigma is a barrier to seeking behavioral health treatment. I was fearful of how like I would be perceived by my peers and I was fearful of my reputation being ruined. It really, really bothered me. Battalion Chief Thomas Kane says the smoke has now lifted on addressing mental health issues in the department. We do have resources. We do have avenues to get you to those resources. We developed this umbrella program. Retired Battalion Chief Michael Yeager is the peer coordinator for Local 22. He was instrumental in developing mental health services for the firefighters. Our goal um, through the union is that we don't want anybody in the department to, to say, I don't have anyone to call. 
Peers are available and so are a variety of counseling programs designed by firefighters for their comrades. We go through a lot of stuff and we're not really taught how to deal with our feelings and our emotions when we go through some of these traumatic things. The stigma is changing in, the, in our world that it's okay to ask for help. Bill says he finally got the therapy he needed and his life back. Fire department officials say increased wellness for its members means increased safety for everyone. The vibrant spirit of the Hmong American Day illuminated the Onalaska Omni Center with celebration and pride. Hmong American Day serves as a tribute to all those who made profound sacrifices during the Vietnam War. A Hmong cultural and community center board member said the day allows the Hmong people to establish their presence and thrive in the U.S. My favorite part about the event is just celebrating a day that is very special to us. I think it, it, it means a lot to us um, to be able to have this day. And not only that, but I just love the collaboration. Attendees had the opportunity to explore a diverse array of vendors, including delicious food uh, offerings along the way. Winona State University celebrated the 100th anniversary of Somson Hall, a historic campus building. Yesterday, the school and Winona's Heritage Preservation Commission held an open house for Preservation Month. The event featured building tours, speakers, videos, and original blueprint from 1923. The commission's co-chair enjoyed connecting with people about the building's rich history. I love interacting with people that um, themselves have a passion. Uh, for historic buildings. And today I've had so many conversations with uh, people that came here because they have a memory associated with uh, Samson. Every year, Winona's Heritage Preservation Commission picks a historical building in the city to showcase to the public. After a 38 year absence from competing, motocross cyclist Sarah Jane Nichols has shown us age is just a number. In the BMX World Championships in Rock Hill, South Carolina, she came in second in the 40 plus category, leaving a bunch of boys in the dust. CBS's Ian Lee explains she has no plans to ease off the pedals at this point of her life or career. Out of the gate, Sarah Jane Nichols zips around the track in a blink of an eye. The competitive spirit drives her forward. But what makes her special isn't that she gives the boys a run for their money. Rather, she's old enough to be their mom. The whole thrill, the buzz, the excitement of the sport, just, yeah, I mean, I'm thoroughly, I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. Away and Sarah Jane off like a train. Sarah Jane conquered the BMX world in the 1980s. She could almost afford to stop, have a cup of tea. She rode to the top of the world championship podium in 1986, then hung up her helmet never to compete again. Um, so I went out on a high um, as British champion, and that was up. Sarah Jane got on with life, but slammed the brakes when the pandemic brought isolation, depression, and menopause. It felt like I'd been hit by a steam train, and I was at a real all-time low. I was very, very low. I didn't have any motivation. I didn't have any... Um, I was just tired all the time. I was... It, it was... I was irritable. So that's when the 53-year-old turned to an old friend and accepted an invitation to check out her local BMX track. It was bizarre because I got up on the start gate and managed to balance. It went down and yeah, that just that the very, very first time of coming down here, I was I I enjoyed it. And just like that, Sarah Jane felt like a teenager again. It comes flooding back, but I think my brain was still when I was 16. And maybe it's just like riding a bike. Because Sarah Jane is still pretty good. Good enough to once again compete in the world championship. You just go, and as soon as it's the gates dropped, I think it's just all about the adrenaline. You have to concentrate. You can't. You can't let up for a second on concentration on the tracks because of the jumps are uh, very. Um, they can be. They can throw you as well. But these days, she'll tell you dominating the sport she loves isn't the real win. It's the folks she met along the way. Sarah Jane showing us that you can get through life's ups and downs, no matter your age, just as long as you keep moving forward. The time now is 539. Here is News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect on our morning commute. Hi, Bill. 
Hi, Alexandra. It is a wet morning commute for most areas. In fact, a live look through City Cam will show uh, some rain continues to fall here in downtown La Crosse. So do expect wet conditions on the roads and uh, interstates this morning. Here's a live look on uh, Interstate 90 out in Onalaska. Uh, maybe just watch those speeds, especially if you encounter some heavier showers so you prevent hydroplaning. Drivecast for today uh, calls for those scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. Primarily this morning, I think uh, this afternoon is looking mainly dry, uh, perhaps even some partly sunny conditions with temperatures rising into the 70s. So you can see one batch of uh, heavier storms has shifted to our east into central and eastern parts of the state, and another batch of uh, heavier storms impacting areas like, uh, say, southern Alamakee County, portions of Crawford, Richland, and up into Juneau and Adams counties as well, with some thunder and lightning there and some heavier downpours. Current temperatures range from the uh, 56 degree uh, Reading in Eau Claire to 61 in La Crosse, Prairie du Chien, and Boscobel. Again, those scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly this morning. Partly sunny later today. Highs in La Crosse around 75. I will have the rest of my eight-day forecast on the other side of the break. But coming up in our buzz report, Kevin Costner has a new Western epic coming to theaters. And the project is so ambitious, he plans to release it in four parts. Uh, we will take a look at Horizon, an American saga, after the break in your Morning Buzz Report. We'll be right back. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. Giving a woman heartbreaking news that her baby has no chance of survival and giving them the option of having an abortion is one of the hardest parts of my job. Politicians like Donald Trump shouldn't be getting in between me and my patients. We terminated Roe v. Wade. My patients are worried. They're asking me, what is he going to try to take away next? If Trump was reelected, it would be devastating for women's health care. AB PAC is responsible for the content of this ad. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can capture all the moments that make summer summer. Like driving a RAV4 to wade in a waterfall. Nice. Cruising to play mini golf in a Camry. <laughs> or taking a Tundra to the beach. You're not going to leave me here, are you? <laughs> Right now, you can lease a sporty new Toyota RAV4 for $309 a month. See your local Toyota dealer today or visit toyota.com to learn more. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line. Many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. NextGuard Plus helps you protect your dog from fleas, ticks, heartworm disease, and more. All in one delicious monthly soft chew. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. NextGuard Plus, the one you want for one and done protection. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as seven days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today.
Welcome back. A good Monday morning to it is currently 543. We'll start with the allergy report. Uh, symptoms a little bit lower for today and tomorrow for oak grass and tree pollen in general due to the rain showers from time to time. In fact, that's what we're seeing right now through City Cam 8. Uh, light rain continues to fall in the La Crosse area. Temperature 61 degrees at the airport and downtown at the station. Winds out of the northeast at 6 and the Mississippi is falling a bit 8.09 feet. Some light rain in Eau Claire. 56 degrees there, winds out of the northwest at 7, and the Chippewa River is holding steady. So temperatures pretty mild to start this Monday morning. Uh, readings uh, in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, 59 in Winona, 57 in Black River Falls, 61 in Decorah, Prairie du Chien, and Boscobel. Uh, they're having a problem with the sensors in Sparta, Viroqua, and Volk Field, in case you're wondering why there's no data coming out of those locations. Uh, winds generally from the south and southeast, at around 5 to 15, but they're rather variable around these uh, little batches of showers and thunderstorms. So you can see one batch of storms has shifted into uh, central and eastern parts of the state. More storms down in portions of Winnesheek, Alamakee, Crawford, Richland counties, and creeping up into uh, sections of Juneau and Adams counties as well, with some uh, moderate to uh, maybe briefly heavy rain in that, and also some thunder and lightning activity as well. A couple areas of low pressure scooting across the region this morning. That's the cause for the showers and thunderstorms. And and then a deeper low uh, will impact the area tomorrow afternoon and evening. We'll show that on Sky Tracker with the showers and thunderstorms this morning tapering around lunchtime or at least shifting to the east. So uh, it's looking mainly dry this afternoon and this evening. And then a chance of more kind of scattered storms overnight and perhaps into Tuesday morning. But the main event looks to arrive tomorrow afternoon and evening, especially uh, say mid afternoon through to about dinner time and shortly after that. So some uh, batches of strong to potentially severe storms moving through as an area of low pressure. You can kind of see it here uh, spinning up around the Twin Cities. Uh, that uh, continues to rotate across the region. And Wednesday's looking primarily dry, uh, albeit mostly to partly cloudy. Now we're looking at the chance for some numerous strong to severe storms, a level three risk from the Storm Prediction Center for most of our area. Local timing looks to be from about 2 to 9 p.m. and all severe uh, hazards in play here. Strong winds, large hail, even a few tornadoes a possibility. So that's why tomorrow is an alert day. I want you to stay extra weather aware, especially during that 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. time frame. Also, we could see some locally heavy rainfalls that run rain tracker through early Wednesday morning, one to two inches plus, maybe three inches plus of rainfall in some spots. Now zone forecast showing temperatures today pretty close to average or average high 74. I'm expecting right around 75, maybe 76 degrees in the La Crosse area and most of our 65 locations here are seeing highs between about 70 and 76. So for today, scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly this morning, 75 for the high. Chance of more showers and storms overnight, lows near 61. And then those storms likely that could be severe tomorrow afternoon and evening, 78 for the high. Tomorrow's an alert day. Dry Wednesday and Thursday highs in the 70s. Another chance for some scattered showers and storms Friday and Saturday. Highs between about 70 and 75. Sunday looking mainly dry and a small chance for a thunder shower uh, next Monday. That's the latest look at my eight day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with our buzz report. <music> Sir Paul McCartney is now the United Kingdom's first billionaire musician. The news comes in the Sunday Times 2024 edition of its annual Rich List. The 81-year-old Beatles alum and his wife Nancy are worth a billion pounds or $1.3 billion. The newspaper attributed the milestone to McCartney's longevity and continued appeal with fans across generational lines. It's like magic. Magic when you touch me, It's new, New Kids on the Block. The quintet have released Still Kids, their first new album in 11 years, featuring this song, Magic. Its music video is comprised of fan-filmed footage. The quintet launches a North American tour next month. You and I are standing guard in one of the last great open spaces. That looks like a promising place. The place I might be able to see myself. Here's your latest look at Horizon, an American saga. Kevin Costner's planned four-part Western epic. The first installment just screened at the Cannes Film Festival, where it received a lengthy standing ovation. It rides into theaters June 28th. 
Before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's Eight, starting with Yukia, turning eight months old today. She's always laughing and loves to play with her toes. And Lenora is also turning eight months. She loves spending time outside and playing in the grass with the family pets. Olivia is also turning eight months old. She is always smiling and loves spending time with her older sister and the family dog. Lily is turning eight years old today. She loves playing with her friends and family, playing sports, and is a huge Taylor Swift fan. And Jackie is turning 18 today. She loves playing the piano, rock climbing, and playing Xbox. If you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight years, eight months, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button underneath the Home tab. The time now is 549. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know in five minutes or less. Your morning news now is up next. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $500 on select Sealy adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. My son, Nick, took illicit fentanyl, which cost him his life. And knowing that my son is never coming back is the worst thing that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. Tammy Baldwin's been with us every step of the way. She just got a major bill passed to really crack down on fentanyl. She doesn't just talk the talk, but she actually walks the walk. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Tammy Baldwin fighting this fight. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically. Paint. NextGuard Combo is the only monthly topical that protects against fleas, ticks, tapeworms, and more. Used with caution in cats with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. NextGuard Combo. The monthly one and done you want. During the Memorial Day event going on now at PM Sleep Center, you can save up to $800 on select Stearns & Foster adjustable mattress sets. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. The buildings that are left are destroyed beyond belief. It looks like they've burned. We know 40 years ago, Barneveld was struck with a deadly F5 tornado. Wednesday at 10, how the town bounced back, plus survivors recall that fateful day. Welcome back. It's 5.51. Time for your morning news now. Breaking overnight, Iran's president was killed in a helicopter crash. The chopper went down yesterday morning in bad weather in the country's mountainous northwest region. It was part of a convoy of three helicopters when it made what officials described as a hard landing. The country's foreign minister and several others were also killed. Trumpelo County officers are now investigating a suspicious death as a homicide. The death happened on May 15th near Highway 53 and County Road TT in Ettrick. There is no believed danger to the public at this time. The Trumpelo County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone with information to reach out to them at the number on your screen. Happening now, officials are in the process of refloating the cargo ship that hit Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. Recent demolition work gave the Dolly cargo ship a path to freedom, but freeing the ship doesn't mean freeing its crew members. Current regulations have kept them stuck on board since the incident because a ship like the Dolly must have a crew on it at all times. Now the workers' visas have expired and a union representative says they're waiting for officials to tell them when they can go home. The union also says the FBI confiscated crew members' cell phones last month. Bishop Callahan has made his final mass as the Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse. The service was Pentecost Mass held at St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral. Pentecost is the celebration of the church's beginning and birth date. Callahan's retirement was announced in March after receiving approval from Pope Francis. He served as the Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse for 14 years after being appointed in 2010 by Pope Benedict. On Monday, Bishop Battersby will be installed as Bishop of the Diocese of La Crosse. The vibrant spirit of Hmong American Day illuminated the Onalaska Omni Center with celebration and pride. Hmong American Day serves as a tribute to all those who made profound sacrifices during the Vietnam War. 
A Hmong Cultural and Community Center board member said the day allows the Hmong people to establish their presence and thrive in the U.S. My favorite part about the event is just celebrating a day that is very special to us. I think it, it, it means a lot to us um, to be able to have this day. And not only that, but I just love the collaboration. Attendees had the opportunity to explore a diverse array of vendors and indulge in delicious food. We are looking at a wet start to our Monday with scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region. The heaviest rain right now uh, to the south and east of La Crosse. You can see some of that uh, heavier activity down towards Prairie du Chien and stretching up into par uh, portions of Juneau and Adams County. Uh, light to moderate rain for the rest of us. Print temperatures range from the mid 50s to lower 60s and we will see highs today uh, generally in the low to mid 70s right around 75 degrees uh, in La Crosse. Now tomorrow an alert day because not only could we see more storms that some of those could be strong to severe tomorrow afternoon and evening 78 for the high uh, mostly cloudy but dry and breezy Wednesday 72 dry Thursday with a high of 79. Thank you Bill a marine veteran who served in three wars during his lifetime received a special honor last week 98 year old Richard Rep is in hospice care in Maryland. He dropped out of high school when he was 17 to serve in World War II. His military service continued through the Korean and Vietnam Wars. While he had a successful career, he never received a high school diploma. That all changed after family members and fellow vets hatched a plot to get Remp a diploma from the high school he attended before he joined the Marines. Remp was extraordinarily touched to receive the diploma and said he will cherish the moment forever. Thanks for starting your week with us on News 8 Now this morning. Coming up at 6, a group of motorcycle riders hit the road over the weekend to help raise money for a six-year-old on Alaska girl. President Biden and former President Trump are both working to court black voters in the run-up to the presidential election. I'm Naomi Ruckham with their messages over the weekend and what's in store as they campaign this week.